Welcome to Where You Live for the month of June. I'm Mary Ruth Harris, and we are in Powell River, and I could not be happier about it. Sunny Powell River, it is absolutely spectacular here, and I am sitting in the middle, well, almost in the middle, of the brand new library that is opening very, very soon, and joining me for a very quick chat is the chief librarian, Mr. Terry Nero. Hi. Well, Ruth, we're having a heavy year in Powell River, and now you know why we're the Sunshine Coast. <laughs> I know, right? I, we've been following this project since the beginning. Wow! Looks a little different now, doesn't it, last well, time you were it's here? it's so great. Like, the columns, the wood columns, are just spectacular. It's the, one of the first things I noticed when you brought us in way back when you guys first won the yes vote for renovating the library and the space, and it's just magnificent. Yeah, we're real happy how it came out, and we're real happy to be able to carry the uh, history of the building forward. So it mm -hmm. still looks like it did when uh, it was a uh, Hudson Bay store yes. 50 years ago. Now, one of the things that I noticed first was the lights. They're so small. Yeah, the new LED lights are great. It's about 10% the power consumption, yeah. and they don't block up the whole ceiling with kind of these, uh, what I think would be ugly fixtures. So they kind of disappear. <laughs> They do. Into they the they almost look like, in from a distance, they almost look like they're just floating there because the, the silver and the gray of the, I guess, the chains that are holding them just kind of blend into the background. And it really gives this kind of, you know, very modern, futuristic, but yet very grounded with all the wood. Yeah, we're really happy the kind of contrast with the wood in the original view and the kind of industrial view that the ceiling brings forward in the right. building, which allowed us to keep the space bigger without yes. putting a ceiling in, uh, yeah. saved money. And well, then why cover up those beautiful beams? We really love the look and how it turns out here. So it turned out a uh, win all the way across for us in terms of how it looks. Now, when do you get to start moving in books? June 12th, we're gonna close the library, the current library, and we'll spend two weeks moving. We gotta pack our stuff and we have to disassemble. We are moving desks from the old library here. Mm -hmm. Those have to move in, and then on the 15th, we'll start moving books. Awesome. You must be so excited. We're really excited. Although one of my um, bosses at one time, we've been planning for a long time, mm -hmm. one of my bosses at one time said the really biggest problem with plans is it always degenerates into work. And right now, it's gotten real for me, and so we're starting to look at how much work there is to do over the next six weeks. Right. Now, when I think about the the library where you where like the old library and the and the space and then i come here it's just like how what's the difference in the space between wh what you had and what you're going to have the total floor space is about three times a little more than three times larger here which moves wow. us into a real good place in terms of comparables in the province right but effectively it's larger because the current library is cut up into a lot of little pieces right so we really have more space for staff than we need but there's no way to utilize to, it so right. I suspect from a, a usable point that we're probably four times as much space for programs and activities in the library oh, fabulous now, have you guys been dreaming up new programs and activities now that you have the space to support that? We've been starting to look in how it's gonna change. We have some areas, like we have our own meeting rooms. That's gonna make a lot more efficient for offering programs, because right. we have no meeting space in the current mm -hmm. library. Right. So all programs we do have to be outside the library. Staff has to find a space, arrange for it, rent it, right. move all their stuff, move it back. And so now we're thinking about different kinds of activities. Uh, over here um, is the maker space, which will have be able to put more technology in. And so we've been awesome. coordinating with the uh, Powell River Maker Space, uh, which is a new co-op that started up, about now, what we can provide. And I also see a whole line way, way, way at the other end of the building. Yes. I see a line of outlets across the wall. That's the technology. That's where the that's where going to be public computers, computers are. Okay. Fantastic. And then in this beautiful, bright, sunny corner, um, this is going to be the children's space? This will be the children's space. And the beam right in front that you can't see on camera, but it's going to be surrounded by a cedar log with branches coming out and uh, cut oh, 
cool. aluminum uh, bows that are powder coated. I saw yeah. the test fit of it last week, and it's going to be gorgeous and really striking. Oh, that's fabulous. And so story time right over in that area, and uh, area for families with some tables and right. kids' literature over on this side. So and nice big space for kids. Along the windows. All along the windows is lounge. Lounge. Area. Lounge. So, lounge. So when you come in and buy your coffee and come and sit and talk to your friends. It makes me want to move here. <laughs> We're happy to have you move here. We've got a real boon in terms of number of people moving to Powell River has grown greatly. Yes. So. Now, and the coffee, tell us about that. That's a really unique pa partnership. Yeah, so we're partnering with uh, PREP, which is the Powell River Employment Program, and okay. they're going to run the coffee shop, and they're running as a social venture, so set up so they can help people gain work experience and work through with the coffee. So we're happy about that, and I think that will be a great addition. Now, is there going to be addition. food as well, or just drinks? There'll be some food, okay. uh, muffins, muffins and that and kind of. Muffins and cookies and stuff like that, okay. Yeah, to All move right. up to prepare food moves you into a commercial kitchen. Right. I like the idea of being able to come and enjoy, you know, a coffee and a muffin while I'm reading my book or my magazine or whatever. Yeah, that's the idea. The libraries okay. have become a very social yes. environment all over. And we have some of that, but quite with 18 chairs and the public chairs in the entire space today. Wow. And how many, are in the, how many cha actual lounge chairs we have in the new space here? There'll be um, 25 lounge chairs, and the total chairs in this area will be about 100. When you get with work tables and computer workspace. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> that is just fantastic. Now, what is your favorite thing about this new space? I think the is the opportunity for community so okay. that we can do more events here. We have three meeting rooms and so we can we we do a good job of delivering access to materials. Yes. Um, today, but we can't do anything about programming that involves creating a sense of community in what some call the community living room or academically right. they call the third space, so another yeah. space where the community comes together. Okay. Well, Terry, thank you so very much for giving us a sneak peek of the new space. This is so very exciting. I really appreciate your time today. Okay. Thank you for coming over and look forward to seeing you when we're actually moved in. I know. We'll be back in a couple of months. You've been watching Where You Live. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We will be right back after this break.